You may have heard recently about plastic roads and asked yourself, are they a good thing? Well, lucky you have waster, because we were asking exactly the same thing. The potential benefits are manifold. It is not exactly as if we have a shortage of waste plastic. So, any beneficial usage for it is surely interesting. Australia reported its first plastic road with Downer, Hume City Council, Close the Loop, Sustainability Victoria and Red Group working in a partnership to build the first ever Australian road with a mixture of soft plastics, glass and toner. This project absorbed soft plastics from approximately 200,000 plastic bags and packaging, 63 glass bottle equivalents and toner from 4,500 used printer cartridges alongside 50 tonnes of recycled asphalt. This was used to build the road in Craigieburn, located in Melbourne's north. They argue the road has a 65% improvement in fatigue life and a superior resistance to deformation, making the road last longer and allowing it to better handle heavy vehicle traffic. So, let's take a closer look at the concept. This concept originated in India as a way to get rid of waste plastics. There are two principal types. The plastic road, which consists of modular, hollow and prefabricated road elements made from consumer waste plastics. And secondly, plastic roads, which consists of an asphalt mix with plastic waste incorporated into the asphalt mixture. The approach is basically involving A, the collection of waste plastic, which includes plastic carrier bags, cups, soft and hard foams, and laminated plastics, then cleaning it by washing, shredding it to a uniform size and melting the waste plastics at roughly 165 degrees centigrade and then blending it with the hot aggregates and bitumen and using this mixture to lay the road. Aside from using the waste, benefits include an ability to use the features of the road or change the features of the road by changing the chemical mix of the plastic an ability to work on pipes, etc., whilst the road is still open, reducing the need for asphalt, which uses oil, and of course, this is even more important in 2022 with price hikes, and better wear resistance and less need for maintenance. The main negative, however, is the likelihood that the road will break into microplastics given the expected wear and tear, and this will inevitably impact plant and animal life. All in all, these types of roads sound really positive, but they are so new and not widely used, so it is very difficult to gauge the impact over the long term. Even in India, which is the leader, we must note that though 34,000 kilometres of roads have been built using plastic, only 700 kilometres of the higher quality national highways, more similar to Australian roads, have utilised this plastic waste. The issue with microplastics is clearly a concern, and so the jury is still out on the long-term pros or cons. We at Waster will keep you updated on the outcomes. For lots more recycling info, visit us at waster.com.au and of course, like and subscribe below.